Hello Commanders, Pro Tanzio, back with a new video, and it's another tournament battle for the nice loot, and it's gonna be in the Coast of Claws again. So, uh, we're up with one of the TD Sat 2 guys, and uh, we spawn here on the upper right hand corner, and uh, yeah, um, pretty standard opening for a uh, fast shipyard. Um, we send off some riflemen out in the map to collect containers, okay. Uh, we won't be able to take that much uh, containers here in the land, just the ones that are near our base Because the enemy is pretty pretty fast as well Okay, so we'll take this uh, flag 2 Here on the lower right and we'll attempt to catch or capture this one as well Here on the left hand corner Okay, we'll also collect the sea containers here in this area And uh, yeah as you can see, enemy just produced a couple of deltas who's gonna try to collect some containers in the sea as well but looks like he was just able to collect the ones that were near his shoreline. Okay, so a little engagement here and there. We're gonna try to kill that delta off with those uh, coyotes as well as the kaiman. Okay, so we were able to capture the flag and yeah, uh, we'll just basically hold off from any attacks for now, so a little scout on his base, see what's going on, nothing crazy for now. So we're now at HQ3 with a double avia factory, we're gonna remove some barracks, which I think I would regret um, in the next few minutes. Okay, enemy is uh, moving his deltas towards the land and looks like he's got pretty much um, a few units produced um, in land as well. Okay, so this Delta trying to kill the transport. We have a Wasp Count, a Jaguar, a Rifleman, and a couple of uh, Dragonflies. Okay, so upgrading to HQ4. Just waiting for that to finish. Okay, as we can see, the enemy now has a large army. So it's composed of hammers, deltas, Typhoons and a ton of heavy assaults. This is the time that I really needed those barracks, the ones that I destroyed earlier, um, to be producing infantry. So we're gonna try to defend here in this area. Um, we're producing or building a couple of sniper towers, and of course, we're blocking the enemy from approaching those uh, buildings under construction so that we'll be able to defend better. So with the number of units that we have, it's pretty hard to defend the base at this time. So we need to ensure that those um, defensive buildings would be completed. So I'm trying to make some barracks too, um, but he's gonna destroy the first one. I'm almost out of units, um, so we'll go with a dual defensive boost. Okay, there you go. He's trying to attack the buildings now, and we're just um, trying to hang on for dear life. So another barracks is being constructed. Okay, we're not stopping in terms of uh, unit production. We're making dragonflies, porcupines, and uh, jaguars to defend the base. Okay, so deltas and hammers have been dealt with. Uh, we still have typhoons here in this area who's gonna be a little pesky against our dragonflies uh, but we do have two barracks that are producing um, riflemen which should be a good match against those uh, heavy assaults one of the sniper towers were taken out but the other one is still standing strong and the enemy is almost um, or the enemy army is almost spent here he's still sending a few reinforcing units but uh, i don't think that's gonna be enough um given the given our abil ability to defend the base okay so we were able to push the enemy back luckily um he was uh, or he ran out of gas in terms of um, trying to deal the finishing blow Okay, so as we can see, he is recollecting a, another army to attack me, but that's alright. Uh, we'll be able to defend much better now. So he's refocusing on capturing the flag on the left side, but that's okay, that's gonna buy us some time. 
in terms of getting more uh, units to defend the base. Okay, so we have a handful of riflemen now and some vehicles to go along in the defense. As we can see, he's also trying to capture the flag here on the lower right hand corner. Uh, but we do have a dragonfly there and he only has hammers. So uh, those hammers won't be able to do a thing versus that dragonfly. Okay. So he's now sending in uh, more units here to capture this flag. So we pull our dragonfly away um, so that we'll be able to use it later on um, in the defense. So we now have more jaguars uh, lined up in that section of the map or just right outside our base. So um, yeah, uh, we're pretty much in a good position to defend any kind of attack. Alright, so we're going to try to destroy the transport, um, okay, got it, and we're able to recapture the flag, nice, and as we can see the enemy now is trying to attack my base again with uh, the same army composition from earlier. We now have a better Jaguar count, and they're all sieged up right in the middle of the map, or just right outside my base, and I'm not even changing my boost into a common attack. Uh, given that I'm pretty confident that I'll be able to defend this since I have sniper towers at the back, who will be able to deal with the heavy assaults? As we can see, we also, the enemy also has a couple of Zeus, um, but that's not going to be enough to pierce through the defenses totally. Okay, so enemy army has dwindled. Same with my defenses, but he won't be able to push. Uh, given the unit count that he has. Okay, so we're gonna try to basically just uh, reproduce the lost army. And we do have another small detachment here on the lower right hand corner. But it's not gonna be enough to push the enemy back given that he has quite a ton of units here. So we try to remove our riflemen. Uh, right next to the vehicles and to the infantry so that when the Zeus attack it's gonna splash all over the place So it's not just gonna be our units that will be damaged, but his own units as well Okay, our army got demolished, but that's alright um, At least the heavy assault count was also brought down So we'll just let him recapture that um, flag there given that um, the number of transports um, or transport vehicles that we were able to um, save um, is right about 30, uh, more than 30 right now actually. So we're just basically gonna camp out this game since uh, we're pretty much in a good position to just defend and just wait until the bar uh, for the 50 transport vehicles has been completed. So that, that's quite alright given that um, we're almost done here. So 35, 36, 37 is coming up. We have more Jaguars coming out, some, some more Porcupines and some Snipers to easily deal with the heavy assaults. Okay, so we do see a Viking given that we have a hidden rifleman there on the left hand corner. And we now have bombers as well to assist either in attacking um, or bombing the enemy army or the enemy base. But I choose to bomb the enemy base to prevent him from producing more units. Okay, so we knocked out one of the construction yards and we also knocked out the uh, special vehicle factory to lessen the number of typhoons that he has. Okay, so we were able to easily defend the enemy attack even though he has a, a Zeus added into the mix even we, when we have no chameleon, even that we have uh, a pretty good jaguar count. So not sure what's going on here, why he's sending the transports over, I think when he tried to uh, control all of his units, um, he didn't exclude transports from being selected when he uh, used the select all button. Okay, so enemy army has been wiped out and we're just basically gonna reposition our units. Okay, so Viking is gonna be right outside the spawning point of our transport. Um, I think he's trying to stop uh, the, or delay the 
transport from going to the exit point but it's not really gonna be that easy given that he only has one viking and we have a couple of dragonflies here that's just gonna be poking away against that viking and remember we have um, some albatrosses who's just gonna be simply bombing the enemy base away Okay, so as we can see, not much defenses or unit production, so we'll knock out the airfield along with that single vertex. Okay, so he won't have any anything in the air. We're also going to try to destroy the additional or the um, avia factory, but since our bombers are not that upgraded yet, uh, those two albatrosses were not able to completely take it out, even though it was a track hit. So yeah, that's alright. Okay, Viking has been disposed by the two dragonflies. And given that the enemy is not responding anymore, it looks like he's already left the game at this point in time. So we're gonna move our army over to his base and basically destroy the rocket tower. As you can see, there's that AV factory with that low HP. Um, and we're just basically